Recently, I've been going out urban sketching and drawing buildings and interiors and found that my perfectionism, my inner critic, has been loud and clear. Drawing out on location has been a particularly interesting challenge. I usually make everything up and I was going back to the way things were in school when I was trying to learn to draw and I felt like I was starting over again. Here is one of my visits to a coffee shop and as I went along, it got more and more wonky. My inner critic was going crazy. One of the things that I and learning in this process is to embrace the imperfection, or as I like to call it, the wonkiness. I'm Terry Runyon, visual artist and creative encourager. In this class, Embracing the Wonky, Celebrating Your Unique Voice in Drawing and Watercolor, we're going to be looking at wonky from a completely new perspective. I've been an illustrator for a really long time. I worked at Hallmark for 30 years. I retired to run my own business. I have several books out. And I have several other classes here on Skillshare. I'd love for you to take a look at those as well. I'm gonna be sharing with you all about ways to use your wonkiness to help clarify what your style is, or just to practice seeing better and how to navigate the inner critic, learn to draw a little bit more accurately, but not worrying about the wonkiness that happens. So this class is for you people with a fierce inner critic that would love to be able to really enjoy the process of creating art. I'll also talk about keeping a sketchbook and showing up for that as often as possible, how that creates a conversation between you and your creativity. We're gonna, of course, talk about dealing with that inner critic that may pop up for some of you when you're working. We'll then go into drawing and drawing what you see, seeing edges and shapes, add color and depth to our drawings through watercolor application. Also talk about simplifying what you see and making it your own. And finally, I'm gonna talk about breaking the rules. In other words, being wonky on purpose and ways to bring in stuff you've made up into what might have started as a representational scene. In the project for this class, we're going to be playing with those edges of our comfort zone. So ultimately, you're going to come away from this class feeling more comfortable with your drawing and your painting and be able to bring some whimsy, some fun into something you thought you would never be able to draw. So let's get started.